Seeing Mueller's plot exposed, conservative commentators have long maintained that Robert Mueller's investigation of President Trump's supposed ties to Russia is nothing more than a witch hunt. This suspicion received even more evidence recently. This week, the New York Times reported that Mueller's investigation had already surpassed its congressional limits by seeking documents related to Trump's time and decisions while president. The original goal of Mueller's investigation was to find any evidence of Russian interference related to the 2016 election. Now it seems that Mueller's team is inspecting some of the more controversial decisions of the Trump administration. According to the Times, Robert S. Mueller III, the special counsel, has asked the White House for documents about some of President Trump's most scrutinized actions since taking office, including the firing of his national security advisor and FBI director, Ironically, that fired FBI Director James Comey was forced to tell the world via his Senate testimony that Donald Trump was never under investigation regarding Russian collusion. It now appears that Mueller's team is focusing on President Trump after spending months investigating members of Trump's administration. One of their favorite targets so far has been Jared Kushner, who many believe has incriminating ties to certain corrupt Russian businesses. Another favorite target is former campaign manager Paul Manafort, who suffered an FBI raid after providing the agency with the requested documents. Now Manafort and Trump are enjoying the last laugh because the mainstream media has been forced to admit that the, the Obama administration wiretapped Manafort's phone calls. Many of these calls were likely between Trump and Manafort. So far, despite all of these investigations, no serious evidence has appeared showing that President Trump or members of his team colluded with the Kremlin. President Trump earlier warned Mueller not to exceed the limits of his investigation. It looks like that already happened. Those crying witch hunt have long noticed that Mueller's investigation team is full of Democrat donors. This is undeniably true. Eight of the 16 investigators on Mueller's team have each donated more than $1,000 to Democratic candidates or the Democrat National Committee. Many of these supposedly impartial investigators donated money to Hillary Clinton's 2016 campaign. Clinton's campaign likely created the Russian conspiracy after losing in November. Similarly, Clinton has recently made noise by threatening to contest the 2016 election. In order for this threat to hold water, Mueller must find a smoking gun with Russia's hands all over it. Therefore, the fact that so many Clinton donors are running an investigation against their sworn enemy should be cause for termination. Now, Mueller is expanding his investigation far in excess of what Congress hired him to do in the first place. From the beginning, the appointment of a special prosecutor appeared to be seated in a political witch hunt. Do you think Mueller is treating the president fairly in his investigation? Need you ask? At the risk of sounding like a conspiracy theorist, it seems that Mueller's job is to delegitimize President Trump so much that the Democrats recapture several seats during the 2018 election. Once this happens, the Democrats can try to impeach President Trump. It is unlikely that Mueller will walk away from this investigation without a scalp. The Democrats are still outraged over the election results and intent on finding ways to reclaim their power, even if it means resorting to shady tactics. Republicans have been warned. You know, this, I don't know what to do in the sense of, I mean, really? I mean, what do you do? Grab pitchforks and, and head to uh, Washington and... Uh, you know, I mean, what's there to do? I mean, unless Sessions puts a stop to it, but they probably threaten Sessions. I mean, look, these people are looking for anything to, to grab at. They're grabbing at straws. If they had one shred of evidence, wouldn't it have come out? I've said this time and time again. We've all said it. This has got to end. 
this has got to end and people have to start calling Mueller out for this. This is a total witch hunt and Hillary is still thinking she might become president. That's how sick this gets. Let me know what you're, uh, you think in the comments below and again thank you so much for watching.